In this video I will show you how to copy a sketch from one plane to another and how to offset the sketch. And I will show you how to create this 3D model. Start a new project in Part Design Workbench and create a new sketch on the XY plane. Draw a circle with a diameter of 100 mm so that the center of the circle coincides with the origin of the coordinate system. And to do this we can use the auto constraints and if you hover over the origin of the coordinate system and left click, then the center of the circle and origin of the coordinate system will be coincides. Okay. The second way is to manually constrain the center of the circle to the origin of the coordinate system. I'm going to delete this circle and draw another one, for example like this, and right click to cancel this command and now select this point and select this point and select constrain coincident. And this way we can also constrain the center of the circle to the origin point. Ok, now select constrain diameter and select circle and enter here 100 millimeters to define the diameter of this circle. Ok. Right click to cancel this command and let's draw another circle and move the cursor over the Y axis and when this axis is highlighted, click the left mouse button and that's how we relate the center of the circle to the Y axis. Ok, right click to cancel this command and now select constrain diameter, select the circle and enter here 40 millimeters to define the diameter of this circle. Ok. Right click to cancel this command and now select this point and this circle and select constrain point onto object. Ok. And now we will use the trim edge tool to trim the sketch. Select this tool and select these lines. Ok, right click to cancel this command and select Constrain Preserving Sketch Fillet and select this geometry and this and this one and this one. Ok, right click to cancel this command. Now select these two arcs and select Constrain Equal to make the two radii equal. Then select one radius and select constrain radius and enter here 10 millimeters to specify the radius of that fillet. OK. And click close to exit the sketch. Now add an extrude feature. Select path command and enter here 50 millimeters for the length. OK. And now on this face I would like to create a similar sketch in such a way that the first sketch is offset by 5 mm inwards and I will show you how it can be done. Expand the path feature and select the sketch and press spacebar to turn the sketch visible. OK. Now select this face and select create sketch. Go to model tab and select pad and press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of the model. The sketch must be visible. Then select create carbon copy and select the sketch. Now if you slightly rotate the view, you can see that a copy of the sketch from the first operation was created on this plane. 
switch to the tasks tab and click close to exit the sketch. Now turn off the visibility of the solid and sketch from the first operation so that they don't obscure the view and at this point it's just a copy of the first sketch. Now we need to offset this sketch 5 millimeters inwards. Switch to the part workbench, select the sketch and select part and 2D offset. This command will allow you to offset the selected geometry by a specified distance and to offset it by 5 mm inwards enter here minus 5 mm and click OK to accept. Now notice that the new geometry has been created but it's not a sketch and it's outside of the body so we can't use it to perform operations on the solid. First select this sketch and press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this sketch so that the sketch doesn't obscure the view and not to get confused. Now switch to draft workbench Select this geometry and select draft to sketch. Now a new sketch has been created based on this geometry. Select this geometry and press the spacebar to turn off the visibility of this geometry and switch to the part design workbench and turn on visibility of this solid and OK. We already have a sketch but it can't use this sketch to perform a pocket operation because the sketch is still outside the body. OK. To use this sketch to prepare the pocket operation on this solid the sketch must be inside this body and to do that just use the drag and drop method and drag the sketch to the body. Now select the pocket operation and enter here 30 millimeters as length and you can also enter here minus 10 as tapper angle. Click OK to accept and you can also select view persistent section cut, select for example cutting X, flip to see what the model looks like inside. And ok, that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.